Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. I hope everything is fine and uh, check this out. So we are in our residential project and uh, the topic or, um, you know, the thing we are going to be making today is a canopy, right? A tensile canopy. And, uh, you know, for example, if we simply go to Google and if you write tensile canopies, look at all the beautiful designs that we have. Uh, for example, look at this. So we are going to be making something like this today, right? Uh, you know, there are so many different designs that we can make today we're, we're going to start with uh, a single basic one and then we would move on for example look at this and how nice it looks right so we're going to be making something like that so let's quickly go to google and you know let me go to my taskbar and let me close the r browser because there are so many different uh, tabs open and it's going to slow down our system uh, so let's quickly go that and uh, you know that the we are going to be using the the massing inside right all right the massing inside so let's go to file let's go to new and let's go to conceptual mass and let's open up our mass and uh, let's open up a separate one and then we'll import it into our house first of all let's go to level one uh, the first thing is the reference planes uh, the first thing is always the, in fact the UN right the units uh, millimeters and uh, two decimal places and the symbol okay okay and RP and uh, paste and RP another one and uh, RP right here and RP right here and then DI which is going to be one the two and the three and equal all right the constraint is set one two and three and the equal uh, after that, press MD. So remember, I told you, right? You have to use shortcuts. Do not use this. Use MD so that you know you practice Revit, right? You master it. So MD and uh, in fact, uh, let's press DI again. Let's set our main width and uh, DI again, which is going to be this and this. Paste it right here. After that, press MD. Click on that. Uh, go to parameters. This is going to be the W I D T H and uh, OK. And uh, after that, this one is going to be the the D E P uh, T H. OK. And uh, let's go to our southern side. So of course we also need the height. The height, all right. In fact, you know what? Let's go back to a level one. Let's close all inactive views. Let's go to our family types and let's just check this out. So for example, um, the depth can be what can be the depth? Uh, the depth can be eight, and uh, the width can be ten. Uh, and this is going to be meters, right? Not millimeters. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eight meters, fine. And check this out. So we have our parametric um, layout. That's perfect. The first step is always good. After that, press RP, make a reference plane, um, the press MD. And to click on the reference planes, click on that, change it into a parameter. Let's go to that. Let's create a parameter. This is going to be the H E I G H T. Oh my God, why am I speaking so fast? H E I G H T. Fine, perfect. Everything is good, right? And uh, you know, fast videos are fun. All right, I want to do my videos fast. After that, um, you know, let's press R P again. We kind of uh, need uh, another one right here. And uh, let's press D I. So one and a two, perfect. And a one and a two. Okay. After that, let's go to modify. Let's click on this point and this is going to be the the one meter uh, offset, a one meter offset, fine. And uh, let's click on this point right here and this is again going to be the one meter offset and let's go to right here and change this to 1M, perfect, and press OK. And the height, uh, the height, let's keep it um, 6 meters, okay, everything is perfect, right? It's completely parametric. After that, um, you know, let's start making our actual canopy. So the first thing is this one point, uh, select the point, click, uh, click on, why am I confusing my grammar? So select the point, click, uh, click on work plane, right? So one and uh, two, fine, that is pasted. After that, go to the southern elevation and uh, go to uh, the reference lines and uh, go to face right here and uh, uh, fine. Um, so 3D snapping is on, guys. Remember that. From this point to this point, and uh, click right here again. From this point to this point, uh, click on empty. And now we would have to lock our planes, right? So for the lock, uh, press uh, no, press A L, uh, which is the align tool. So one, and uh, click on this point right here. It is aligned to that. And this point, and click on this point. It is aligned. Click on this point and click on this point, align right here and click on this point and click on this point, align right here. So, so our line is completely constrained from all the four sides, all right? Nothing very hard to understand. After that, click on this point and right here, align, perfect, right here, align, perfect, and right here, align, perfect. All right, guys, mm, let's go back to our level one and uh, check this out. So this is what we have until now. And, uh, you know, for example, if you go to level, although this this shouldn't show right here, but fine, it is showing. So um, after that, let's go to line again. And now this is going to be our actual um, canopy. So uh, or you can, you can, we can even do it in the three, right? What's wrong with that? So this, this is what we have made until now. So it's going to be one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, five. 
and uh, perfect right so check this out our canopy is kind of good and uh, you know uh, the white's not showing because it's uh, it's the it's the width isn't it for example apply and uh, this line is slightly um 10 meters apply and check this out so now uh, much better right <laughs> so this is what we are doing doing it with so um let's change the scale to a little bit of down to one ratio 50 and uh, check this out so now we need more points so how about we go to point we put it uh, on face plane and uh, one and uh, two and uh, three and uh, four and uh, after that um, cancel after that let's click on this point and this one has to be 0 0.5 and uh, this one right here it has to be um zero point uh, no what this has to be um point five again and uh, this one right here has to be um point five again and uh, this one right here has to be point five again perfect let's go to line again and uh, let's turn on um three D view and let's paste it so one and uh, two and uh, three all right done uh, after that um uh, one and uh, two and uh, three right here. So check this out, our shape is done, all right, uh, completely parametric. If you go to right here and if we change this to 14 and uh, to 10 and the height can be 7, uh, let's go to apply and uh, what, why am I making this mistake? So it has to be 1 meters and this has to be 7 meters and uh, perfect. Now if you go to apply and um, let me check, so and this has to be, oh my god, 14 meters um 14 meters and uh, if we apply and check this out so all of our points are attached all of these points are attached and our shape is completely parametric all right uh, after that uh let's start pasting our profile so let's click on this point right here and uh, let's click on this point right here let's go to circle and uh, let's go to set all right so now uh, let's go to circle uh, let me do that again wait a uh, circle set and if we uh, set this plane and if we draw the circle this one the millimeter is going to be um, 10 um, mm mm, perfect all right and uh, after that a uh, circle and uh, set again and this one right here this one is going to be um, uh, what is this going to be um, 200 mm no 200 is too much and uh, okay let's go for 100 uh, mm perfect after that um, uh, let's go back to our for this for a little while so this is 1000 this is 10,000 mm 7 meters and 14 meters perfect right uh, so let's click on this point right here and instead of 10 you know uh, let's go for 40 all right 10 is too small uh, so after that let's click on this and let's click on this point right here let's press ctrl c and ctrl v and ctrl v and ctrl v four times after that let's click on this point so let's click on that and uh, let's go to um right hand let's go to pick host so we want the same profile to be copied on these four sides perfect and uh, let's click on this again and uh, pick new host and uh, pick new host so right here perfect and uh, let's go to this point right here so click on the middle and uh, pick new host and uh, let's go to point right here and uh, now let's start making our actual canopy so this and uh, this and uh, make a profile uh, perfect right and uh, let's go to this and uh, this right here so make a profile and uh, now press tab on this one for this one the material is going to be uh, C H R O M E chrome 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 oh, perfect I love this shiny chrome and uh, okay what this is a mirror okay let's go for this one so this is the stainless steel perfect chrome alright so we are going to be having those stainless steel uh, threads you could call them that canopy you usually have um, okay so now let's go to this one right here and this is again going to be the steel chrome perfect um, uh, alright uh, perfect okay that's done now um, the same case for this so profile line make a profile and uh, perfect and uh, profile line and uh, make a profile and uh, let's click on that and uh, let's click on the center in between and uh, let's go for control T and control V and uh, now um, let's click on this point let's go to pick new host and uh, let's go to this point right here let's go to modify let's click on this let's click on that and let's make it and uh, let's click on this point right here 
and uh, okay and uh, let's go to material for this one let's go for w double o d uh, anything woody oh, okay this one's nice so the mahogany wood User ended appearance, okay, fine, that is done. And you guys must be wondering where's our actual canopy. Oh my god, the process is kind of long. Uh, fine, so now click on this point right here and uh, go to uh, Mahogany again. And uh, now um, click on the finally the canopy, all right? Uh, so what, what have we done? So go back, uh, click on this and... Uh, uh, control and uh, click on this point right here change it into a reference line and uh, now go to canopy and set that and give it an offset of uh, two uh, inches two centimeters not uh, two millimeters right um, two inches in fact which are 50 millimeters and uh, now let's go to the material right here so you know the material for these are usually polyesters uh, P O L Y uh, E S T E R S. There are also many other materials, but uh, uh, why is it coming poly? Uh, yes, this is the one, right? So the um, G F R P or one of these two. Uh, let's go to click. Uh, okay, and check this out, guys. So our parametric, our completely parametric canopy is complete, right? Uh, let's go close uh, close all inactive views. Let's go to load into the project and uh, let's go to our actual project and let's paste our canopy right here. And uh, let's go to our modify and uh, check this out. And uh, you know what, let's go to that. Let's go to our top view and uh, let's press rotate. Um, rotate uh, one point and uh, one point. So check this out guys, it is complete and uh, now you know you can, it's completely parametric so you can even play around with it or change the shape according to whatever you like. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something from it. This was the the parametric uh, canopy inside um, Revit, alright? Um, have a good day and uh, bye bye.